And once again, we're going to stop just, we know that right just short of 90 doesn't quite do it. So we're going to go just right at, and if we look at that, that's actually looking really, really nice. And look how different these marks end up. So this was our original, that's our original 10 and a half inches. You'll notice we're, you know, about three quarters of an inch extra that this has stretched actually almost close to an inch, seven eighths or so. Now you want to be real careful not to have this saw kind of hop around or scar this up because any kind of nick or scratch or, you know, imperfection in this tubing can become a weak point, um, especially if it's in the area where the ferrules are going to be biting. This will be extremely detrimental to the rigidity and longevity of this system. If it, you know, has a weak point to break, that's always going to be the point that it's going to break. So, all right, so once we've got this cut, we want to go ahead and deburr the end of this tubing and clean the inside. Then we're going to go ahead and take, and we're going to clean up this the outside edges of this thing all right that's looking pretty good and you don't you don't want to overdo it you don't want to end up chamfering the end of this because that'll actually also cause issues 